Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to do something a little bit more complex, but I'm going to keep the final make a surprise. It is going to involve these tiny little puppets though. This week you're going to need some paper or card, a craft knife or scissors, a ruler, a glue stick and some kind of pencils or paint. The first thing you're going to do is draw a two centimetre border around the inside of the card. The easiest way to do this is to measure several points and then join those up with a ruler. This border needs to be fairly accurate but don't worry too much about getting it perfect. Once you've finished the border, you're going to fold the paper in half and crease along the fold line. Now we're going to create two more two centimetre sections along the long side of the card. Make sure your lines stay within the main space and don't extend into the border. Draw a middle line along the crease and then draw an art shape on the bottom half of the paper. Make sure to leave some space between it and the middle line. Now we're going to carefully cut along our lines making sure we never extend into the border. First the long line on either side of the card. If you have a craft knife this really is the time to use it, but you can also do this carefully with scissors. Now the inner line, but only on the top half. Do not go past the middle line. Then you're going to cut round your art shape. Finally, the middle line, making sure not to go past the inner lines that you've drawn. You may need to go over your lines quickly just to make sure they're fully detached. Leave the top section of the paper, but you can now cut out the leftover curved section in the bottom half, remembering not to go past the inner lines. Now everything is cut out, you can begin to manipulate the card. You're going to crease your paper at each point where it joins onto the board. Then turn the card over and repeat. You can produce a 3D structure by opening and closing the piece of card. You're now finished with this piece, so lay it to one side and grab yourself another piece of card. You're going to start by drawing a two centimetre border along the bottom edge of the paper. Then measure and mark the midpoint of your piece of paper. Then measure five centimetres either side of the midpoint. Now fold your paper over gently to get a faint mark at the halfway point. I made a mistake here and creased the halfway point. From the marked points draw up to the halfway point and then three centimetres over the middle line and join up. Now you want to cut the two side lines down to the bottom of the border. Remember, 
don't go into the border itself. If you then fold the paper in half, you'll find that the cut part begins to jut out. Allow this to find its natural crease point and press down on the crease. Mark the middle of the top of the new rectangle and half a centimetre either side of it. Then create a rectangle that's approximately 10 centimetres long going into the new structure. Now draw a rectangle going up. It's 5 centimetres wide and 6 centimetres tall. Carefully cut out both of these rectangles. You might find it easier to use scissors with the smaller rectangle. Once you've cut them out, just give the paper another fold to establish the shape. You can see where I added the crease line, it seems a little bit weaker. That shouldn't happen with your structure. You're going to need your first piece of card again. Draw a rough triangle shape on the piece of card we left, remembering not to go past the border and cut it out. I've given mine curved sides, can you guess why? We're now ready to put the two pieces together. Use a glue stick to add glue along the 2cm border. Don't put glue anywhere else. Now place the second structure on top of the first, making sure to line up the edges and press down. Fold the paper in half again to re-establish the shapes. I'm sure you've guessed now that we're making a runway and those curved edges are our curtains. You may need to trim them at this point to make sure they don't stop the runway from fully standing. You now have a 3D runway. You can see mine sags a little bit because of the crease. If you did the same, just stick some card under the crease marks and it'll be fine. Now time to decorate. I've used watercolour paints to decorate my stage. If you do the same, make sure they're not too wet or the paper will be compromised. I then used a little bit of tissue paper on the stage and on the curtains just to give some texture. Now to make your puppet. Firstly cut a half centimetre strip along the bottom of the card and put to one side. Your stage opening is 5cm by 7cm, so your puppet needs to fit through that. I find it easiest to draw a guide box, then draw your figure, cut it out and colour it in. Once you've drawn your figure, take the strip that you cut out previously and stick the figure onto it. You're then going to create a bend in the card, so you can use the strip of card to manipulate your puppet. To blend them in, I'm drawing the puppet's shoes onto this strip. You could then colour the rest of the strip in black just to hide this when you're manipulating the puppet. So your little puppet is ready to go onto the stage. Use the slot in the stage to push the puppet back and forth. You could even add slots to the side so your puppet could move around more. I 
hope you've enjoyed making your puppet stage. I've certainly enjoyed making mine and remember that you can make as many little puppets as you like to go with it. I'll see you next week.